constituent CHAU is an island in Halong Bay, Halong City, Quang Nine, Vietnam. In 2002, a new tourism area was built in the island. Chun Chau Island is located in southwestern part of Halong City. It is the only schist and earth island in the world natural heritage of Halong Bay. Chun Chau is famous for the largest artificial beach in Vietnam. Chun Chau Island has a favorable position in both road and waterway transport. The island is located about 2 kilometers from National Road No. 18 up. An important road connecting the cities of the economic triangle of Hanoi, Haiphong and Quang Nine. It takes two hours to get to Chun Chau, and three hours to come to Chun Chau from Mung Kai. There is a hydrofoil route from Mung Kai to Halong, the trip takes two hours, and another from Haiphong to Mung Kai with one hour journey. Chuan Chau is a compound word created from Lian Chuan, patrolman, and Tri Chau, district chief. During the feudalism, a post was located on the island for soldiers to guard the border area. The post was managed by the district chief. Chuan Chau was famous both Vietnamese and foreign visitors as an indispensable destination. The island covering about 400 hectares has gorgeous landscape, with the sandbanks stretching over 6 kilometers and transparent blue water. The weather in the island is cool all year round thanks to the wind from the sea. Chun Chau Island deserves to be the site for an ideal high-class resort. Chuan Chau Island is very beautiful. Some rooms have beds facing the sea, making visitors find themselves so close to the sea and to the beautiful Halong Bay. The beachfront resort is an ideal place for lovers to enjoy romantic dinners. Chuan Chau Marina put into operation since 2009, is where boats to Hilong Bay gather. In the marina lie the five-star paradise boats with luxurious designs. There is a system of waiting hall, restaurant, bar, dancing hall, supermarket and luxurious villa areas on the two sides of the port. The place also comprises two blocks of two-story houses designed by Japanese architects, which look like the houses in Venice, Italy.
Now when thinking about Chen Chau, visitors will immediately think of the International Tourism and Recreation Area. A tram car takes us to the recreation area where fairy tales are told. Through sophisticated statues of the princess and Aladdin in the magic lamp, beautiful Snow White and seven lovely dwarfs, and the ants in the Brothers Grimm story. Everything is so vivid. Their colors are attractive to not only children but also adults. Should CHAU Dolphin and Seal Club building was built simulating sails receiving the wind. Coming to Chun CHAU, visitors cannot ignore exciting performances given by dolphins. Tamed by professional instructors. Visitors can enjoy dolphins and sea lions somersaults and waves. See emotional brown eyes of seals and stroke and dance with gentle dolphins. Leaving the club with regret, I attend the Magic Fountain show. The perfect combination of music laser and water. How fabulous! The stage is often chosen for national and international cultural events. The island also has many other works such as Crocodile Performance Club, a system of luxurious hotels, resorts and villas, and an international standard 18-hole golf course.
Evening is time for me to enjoy the romantic and luxurious space of the bedroom. The large balcony looking down on the swimming pool is a private space for you. The fragrant plants and flowers, the tea and the full moon create a poetic space. Do not just stay in bed or you will miss this interesting feeling when you come here. You can live in nature and enjoy the fresh and airy space, which is totally different from the hustle and bustle of the urban life. I visit Long Tien Pagoda in the eastern part of Baita Mountain. The pagoda faces the former Bem Tieu Street or currently Long Tien Street. The pagoda was built in 1939 and completed in 1942. Its architecture was based on the early Nguyen Dynasty architectural style. Going through the three entrance gate and a large yard, you will come to a ceremonial hall. On the hall rooftop is a porcelain statue with images of dragons flanking the moon. At the two sides of the hall are two palaces. On the central chamber of the three entrance gate lie three works Long Tu Tien. That is why local people call the pagoda Long Tien. The pagoda worships both Buddha and gods. The main palace is where Seiko Muni, Bodhisattva of mercy and other Buddhas are worshipped. The right palace is for worshipping Tranhungdo. And the left palace is for worshipping of Van Hong Mother Goddess. Long Tian Pagoda has many parallel sentences. The walls of the main hall are carved with sophisticated patterns. Long Tian Pagoda Festival lasts till the end of the second month of the year, attracting many visitors. When attending Kyong Temple Festival, visitors often drop in Long Tian Pagoda to pray to Tran Deity for good fortune. From afar, the 106 meter limestone mountain looks like a giant castle with three magnificent towers. The mountain former name was Trien Dang, which means illuminating. The mountain has been a source of inspiration for many poets. In 1648, in his incognito travel to check current situation in the eastern region, King Lilantong stayed here. Inspired by the spectacular beauty of Hilong, the king wrote a poem and carved it on the rock in the south of the mountain. The name Baitu of the Mount originated from this legend. In 1729, Lord Trinkuong composed a poem in parallel with King Ladantong and the poem was carved next to the King's poem. The mountain was the inspiration for Nguyen and some other poets. Standing on the mountain, visitors will be surprised at the breathtaking beauty of Hilong Bay. You will see images of boats afar on the deep blue sea with the rocky mountain, the sky and the surrounding plants and flowers. Baita Mountain is a beautiful spot in Hilong Bay.